holding a lot of water down here. That's cool. Oh, that's cool? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful morning. You know what? Uh, we have some rain. We have rain that is coming in. There's going to be some storms that are rolling through. Uh, it's already starting to rain just a little bit. Uh, I hope the heavier stuff kind of tells off towards late morning and I'm able to get on some fish. Dang it. I'm going out with uh, with Steve. Steve from State Farm. Check him out. He has uh, contact information below. I'm going to be jumping on his boat. We'll be throwing some live shrimp underneath the cork. But I'm also going to be throwing some gope. I just bought some gope. I want to see where the flatties are, right? I want to see if there's any in the area. You know, we're going to... We're gonna be fishing like one of the flounder highways as the, uh, the the flounder run gets closer that people catch a whole lot of flounder in this area. So I'm gonna see if some of the residential flounder are gonna be out and ready to play. But um, you know, I think the big, the big story of the day is gonna be the rain if we're able to get on a few fish before the rain starts. So uh, wish me luck, keep your fingers crossed no lightning no lightning i don't want to glow in the dark no lightning no, lo no lightning but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share let's go Water this high out here before. Pretty high. Wow. Hey, my name is Nerlin. I'm with the uh, Urban Pro Appliance Repair. Uh, we're here helping people with uh, their broken appliances. So if you have anything like broken fridge, washer, dryer, or any kitchen appliances that are broken, uh, we are always ready to help with uh, very affordable prices and uh, good quality. So you can find the phone number or email us and we'll be glad to help you. All right, so we got Steve. State Farm Steve, I was gonna say, I could, we got Steve on the boat, we got Eddie on the boat, we're all soaked, we got water in the boat, nobody has dry feet, got some live shrimp, oh, yeah, I'm on the bottom of the boat, that's a big one, there's one right there, yeah, he's right on uh, you don't, you escape, you don't escape, <clears throat> Everything's gonna be wet today. Now here's a question, Steve. Huh? Are the fish wet when in the water? Or are they wet when you take them out? Yeah. There we go. Ah, little guy again. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's a big little guy. <laughs> Come on, come on. What are you? Hey, it's a Kroger. It's a truck. As long as it's not a uh, hard head. <laughs> not that I'm judging you, Steve. Not judging you. No, I feel... A little bit of rain. He went back in. He got a nice flounder. Damn. Dang it. Enough water, they can swim in the Yeah. <laughs> you can catch or release it in your boat. That's a nice one, Steve. Well, live well. Yeah. yeah, just leave him on the dock. Leave him on the deck. <laughs> I'm trying to put my GoPro on. It wouldn't turn on for me. Piece it. Hold on one second, Steve. I'll get your pliers. I got pliers right here for you. Okay. Hold on for a second. Let's see. 
nice. That's a nice one. There you go. Are they, is it way down there? What you catching on? Is that Z-Man? Yeah, one of those Z-Man. Oh, awesome. Trout, sandy. That's a good size one. Dang, that's a big hook. Yeah. Is that what you cut that? Cigar? Is no? Is that what you cut that mango on? Mm -hmm. That big old hook. Dang it. What size is that? Oh, no. This big. <laughs> Your little eye down here looks like it's holding a lot of water down here. That's cool. Oh, Got him. What is it? What is it? Ladyfish. Why they call them ladyfish? They don't act very ladylike. You know what I'm saying? It's because they have big eyes. Because they're slimy and stink and nobody wants to eat them. It's a lady. There's a mangrove. Got a nice one. Nice one. Oh. There you go. Who's that? Who's that man with the master plan? Yeah, that is a nice one. That is a nice one. When all hope was lost, and we thought they'd gone south for the winter. I was getting ready to move. I was getting ready, was getting ready to pull up some spots. Here, hold it up, hold it up, Steve. Let's check a look at that. Beautiful fish. That is a nice one. So what size hook do you use on there? I use like a little number five. Number five? And I've caught- Is it a I've, J hook or do you use octopus? It's a little J hook. J hook. Number five J hook, and, and uh, I've caught little mangrove on it. And I've caught 25 inch reds on that on that same number five J hook. Nice. Oh, well, just about dried off, and uh, here comes the rain again. So that's the good news. Right. <laughs> There's gonna be no shortage of rain today. No shortage of rain water today. You got him. Got another one. Yeah, it's another one. It's another one. It's another one. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, my God. That was a nice one. That was another nice one. Steve, come on, Steve. There you go. Is that a keeper? Eh. Close enough. Eh. I yeah, you can fillet out of him. I think want so? Him? No, I don't want him. I, I think you get a fillet out of him. I want a big one. You want a big one. You find it? There you go. What's up, player? <laughs> little sand trout. I was waiting for him one more time. Bite one more time. I'm gonna hook you, little ass. There we go. Oh, what is this? Is this a flounder? That's what we're looking for right here? Oh my gosh, get out of the boat. Nobody even likes you, but Eddie. Eddie, don't lie, Eddie. Eddie, don't be proud. Mangrove you cooked up last yeah, time? Yeah, he liked them. He did. He liked them. There we go. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Look at that. Look at that. Trout Slayer. 
I'm gonna go by. I'm gonna change my channel to uh, Texas All Sand Trout Fishing. Did he fall in here again? <laughs> uh, what is your problem? Y'all can't come home with me. There we go. Look at that. I told you. I told you. What are we calling this show? Hmm? Tell me I can't catch sand trout. Don't tell me I can't catch sand trout. I'm back at the house. I uh, didn't really produce what I was looking for. I was really wanting to catch some flounder and I was really targeting flounder uh, pretty strong uh, throughout the morning, just casting and casting, uh, fishing on the bottom a lot with Gope. I threw the Getter Dunn rig. I threw a single tan of jig head and uh, ran into some sand trout. Um, Steve got a nice flounder and then he also caught a couple of mangroves and uh, that was it, you know, for the most part, that was the only fish that, that we put in the box. Um, little surprising, little surprising with the, with the weather systems coming through because that will raise and lower the barometric pressure a lot so that can create feeding frenzies and uh, I was surprised, I was surprised that we didn't run into more fish feeding. Uh, could have just been the location. You know, they could have just been somewhere else. Coming back, I, I see the water is like really, really still high. It's probably calmed down, probably close to a foot since uh, since we were since we got there, like at 6:30. So in about five hours, it probably went down about a foot. But you know, we do have another storm system coming through. We have a front that's going to come through and dump a lot of the water out. So I'm thinking after this front maybe maybe that's when the flounder are going to be more active and uh and biting a little more and moving around a little more but uh the areas that we fished today just weren't there but you know what i still had a really good time thanks guys for coming along um thanks thank you steve for having me on the boat and eddie it was fun meeting you and great seeing you out there and uh hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks